Alrighty, good morning, welcome back. You can see we got a nice looking rack of beef ribs in front of us this morning. Uh, I love these things, they're so good. Got some nice marbling going through them. Uh, one, two, three, four bones, and uh, yeah, real easy to cut these up. I'm gonna go ahead and just take some uh, some of the W sauce here, because I don't know how to say that word, and uh, just drizzle some on there, like so. Kind of rub it all around, and then uh, I'm gonna come back Actually, I'm going to, you know, get it all over the face, all over the sides and everything. And then I'm going to come back. I'm going to use this Meat Church Holy Cow uh, BBQ rub today for the uh, for the rub. So besides that, I'm going to go ahead and get these things ready. And I will pick back up and we're throwing them on the grill. Right, down at the Weber Smoky Mountain. You can see we got the Cyber Q Cloud going. Uh, I'll give you a quick peek at the ribs. There they be. Got the water pan. Well, filled with water today. You can see I got the ribs right in the middle. Uh, the charcoal we're using. We're using this B&B 100% uh, natural lump charcoal. It's the hickory kind. And uh, it smells really good. Uh, uh, burns really clean. I would say the one thing to note here, uh, at least that what I noticed, like when I use uh, natural lump, you know, compared to Weber or like the Kingsford brand, the natural lump burns a lot hotter and a lot quicker. Or not quicker, I should say. This burns a lot hotter. So uh, I tend to start with a pretty small fire and let it come up slowly. But uh, besides that, uh, cooking at 250, probably going to let this go for a couple hours and then I'm going to start spritzing it down with like some kind of water, Worcestershire, W sauce, or you know what I mean, W mix. So uh, I will probably pick back up then. Alrighty, two hours I'm gonna cook, give you a quick peek. There she be, spray her down with some water, just to keep the, you know, the outside nice and moist, put some moisture back into the meat. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close this thing down. It's been holding perfectly at 250 the whole time. So besides that, uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna come back out here probably every hour for like the next two or three hours just to kind of spray it down. So uh, I will pick back up and give you a look here in a little bit. So we are six hours into the cook, internal temp on these ribs right now. Oh, excuse me, I just inhaled some smoke. Uh, internal temp on these ribs are at 181 degrees. Uh, probably gonna let them go to about the 200 mark and then I'm gonna take them off, probably wrap them in some of that pink uh, butcher's paper, let them rest for about a half hour an hour before I slice in them. So I will pick back up when uh, it's time to eat. Alrighty, so we are back and it's time to eat. Uh, real quick, I'll just go over to, I mean, first off, I mean, just take a look at these beef ribs, like, those, gosh, that looks good, like, these things are so good, too, like, you know, I don't know why it took me so long to discover beef ribs, or I guess I've seen them before, I never bought them, but they are awesome, so besides that, uh, I'll go over to cook times, eight hours at 250, uh, brought it in, you know, brought it up to about an internal temp of about a little over 200 degrees, brought it inside, wrapped it up in that pink butcher's paper, let it rest for about an hour and 20 minutes, and now it's time to eat. And uh, I'll just go ahead and I'll take a quick bite, even though I've already eaten some of this already, but... <laughs> Alright, so I do want to make a couple notes about this cook. Um, that B&B, 100% natural uh, lump charcoal, the hickory stuff, awesome. Definitely be using that again, especially on beef. And also, this holy, or this meat church, holy cow BBQ rub. I've used this before on beef ribs, and uh, I kind of went on pretty light with it, just because there's a lot of pepper in it, and I didn't want to over pepper it, but I think one thing that I always miss uh, with my beef ribs that I'm missing out on is a pepper flavor. So this time I went on really heavy, and uh, I can say, if I had more than two thumbs, I'd give this thing like ten thumbs up. This rub is fantastic. So besides that, I'm going to go ahead and eat. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.